Yeah, the one unfortunate thing is this entire deck is at the behest of... Ooh, look at this. Okay. So here's what we're going to do. Dual wield bludgeon. Yeah, if I could get Vajra, this would actually be a really, really fun build, because then I could use the limit break kind of freely. So there's the vulnerability. God damn it, all I have to do is hit him, like, a little bit more. Oh, well. I almost killed him. Wait, that's... Okay, that's my hand. I was wondering about that. <laughs> ooh, Duvu doll. Uh, I have a curse. Yes. Okay. Uh, ooh. You know what? Let's go armaments. Uh, we have like no upgraded anything, so let's let's upgrade armaments plus. I don't know how often I'm going to be able to use it, but it'll still help. Okay. So now I've got one strength, so I can start increasing it slowly. So I'm not going to get rid of, rid of Writhe. Honestly, I might even start trying to pick up curses if I can. Alright. So what do we have? Uh, I've got... Dual wheel bludgeon right off the... Yeah. I'd be a fool not to. I mean, I could increase the metallicizes, but like... Fuck it. Bludgeon! Blodgen! Blodgen. I guess I might as well use the Dexterity Potion. Let's use the Elixir, get rid of the Writhe. There we go. Barricade, maybe. I was toying with the idea, but at the same time, the, the three bludgeon combo is just, it's too good. Alright, so this actually kind of bites. Throw the weakness at him. I guess I'll flex at them. And uh, maybe shrug it off. Gets me a card. Ah, which gets me a fair amount of strength. And I have a strike. Do I bother? Sure, I'll bother. I mean, ultimately, the thing is, all I have to do is beat the boss and then we win. Ah. Uh, and I've got, like, Reaper and stuff. And just generally, even if I take damage, as long as I don't die, we are... Uh, golden Horror. Alright, Sword Boomerang. Let's go Reaper. Might as well heal up while we got all four of them. There it is. Back up to full health. Let's see. We bludgeon? Yeah, we might as well bludgeon. The little guys aren't that dangerous. Especially because we only get hit by one of them. Oh, man. Yeah, I don't know what the beta update version of the Collector the collector is. They changed something. Hell if I know what it is. Armaments. Barricade. Infernal bl Blade. Pommel Strike. Oh, there's Limit Break. Not really helpful here, though. Shrug it off. He's not going to be able to hurt me, is he? And I'm going to save my energy because we don't need to defend... This is almost as good as my uh, my my corruption branch run. On again, once again, if we see corruption roll by, I might take it. Eh, bit dodgy on some of the things, but th that's okay. Flax, uh, blood, bludgeon. I don't know. Do we even bother with metallicize? Ah, screw it. At some point, it'll it'll be cheap. Let's just save. Let's just save our gibs. Okay, what do we got here? Ugh, it's kind of garbage. Let's do Sword Boomerang. Well, that's kind of bad. Hmm. I don't really like this. I guess I'll just go back to hitting the Collector. I was hoping to do more with that, but you know what? When it comes down to it, it's fine. 
Uh, we're not too hurt. Had I not healed earlier, that that actually would have been a little bit more, a uh, little bit more concerning. Dual wield free bludgeons. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. I'm gonna kill this guy. I don't even need to. I'm gonna cleave you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna use the more expensive bludgeon because who cares? And I'm gonna keep bludgeoning you, you with the other ones. Four bludgeons in a turn. There's. It's a problem. Okay, so we have... Nah, we only have one card that exhausts. Berserk, not that helpful. I could maybe time it with feed. Hmm. Do we do feed? Because Dark Embrace is kind of pointless. Berserk, if any. Maybe? Maybe? Yeah, I'm bloating my deck. I could just skip it, yeah. Because feed's not going to help uh, be that helpful. Yeah, let's, let's just skip. Okay. Burning Blood. Or Sozu. This would heal me 15 per combat, but this gives me more energy. Especially with ice cream. Alright. Uh, got one hell of a mystery machine on the right side. No shops, though. But, I mean, there's gotta be one. Because we've got this. Mm. Actually, hold on. No, it'd be, it'd be better to get off the mystery machine just a little bit early, pop up here, get the double bonfire mid-boss. This and either mid-boss. Yeah, let's let's go that. Oh, is it Donu and Deca? Does it tell me? Oh, okay. I'm feeling pretty confident about this then. Yeah, I'd like to go. I'd like to go double shot, but I don't think it's worth it here. All right, so we get the free dual wield into Burning Pact Metallicize. Okay, well let's use Burning Pact. Let's get rid of Writhe. Ugh. This ain't pretty. <sighs> I mean, I got a hell of a lot of defense, which I can just pop. Dual wield. Strikes. They're free right now. Okay, clothesline, no. Sword boomerang, not really. Weakness, don't care. I'm just gonna pop the metal size a bit early. Just get it out of the way. It'd be really nice to get the mummified hand. So yeah, unfortunately we got burns. But I guess I'm not too worried about burns. Because we've got a free bash into a bludgeon. Can I just kill him? No, we're a little bit off of that, aren't we? Hmm. Other thing is I should probably just kill this guy. Can I, though? Yes! Strike! Headbutt. Uh, let's take Bludgeon back. And save the rest of my energy. Because the other guy's not going to hurt me. And that way I can just kill the Flame bru Bruiser on the next one. Should probably avoid the elites. Could get the Reaper guy. Nemesis? Eh, screw it. We run into Nemesis. We run into Nemesis. I... Mm, I mean, Dropkick would be kind of nice. But no. I, I'm... I will admit I'm being overly aggressive here when I probably shouldn't be. Uh, it just amuses me to actually no end to guts it this hard. The crazy thing is it's working. So screw the repulsor. Let's grab a shrug it off. Almost always works wor worthwhile. Burning pact, lose the writhe. 
Which gets me some free stuff, yes. Okay, so I've got a fair amount of block. Uh, I could use Sword Boomerang, but I think it would be a bad move. So let's just headbutt him and bring back... Let's bring back Dual Wield. And I'll just tank the damage. Because, yeah, if I can Dual Wield another uh, Bludgeon combo, we're, we're good. Let's see, Guts is an Organ Guts or Berserk Guts? Uh, yes. Okay, this sucks a bit more. Uh, let's see, so I've got Flex, Limit Break. I've got no defense. Let's just take a hit on this one. I'm not gonna take a hit. That's dumb. Taking a hit's for chump people. Okay, now I'm gonna take a very small hit. Which is only gonna do one damage to me. <laughs> Barricade, why? Why bother with Barricade? I probably shouldn't have picked it up. It was not worth it in the end. Reaper. All right, probably should have, maybe, eh, whatever. We get Pummel. Pummel's kind of weird, maybe stupid. Probably shouldn't use it against this guy. Uh, let's see, so he does... Yeah, Pummel's probably a bad idea. We'll clothesline him, we'll cleave him. Strike him? Yeah, there we go, did take damage. Aha! Let's see, how many bits have you donated tonight? A little over 4,000? Sorry, shouldn't shouldn't blow. Uh, let's see. Seeing red is useless. Headbutt, iron wave. Nope. It's all garbage. If it's expensive and heavy hitter, then it's good. Oh, we do have a shop up there. Do we want to shop there, though? It'd be a guaranteed shop. We missed the mid-boss mid, mid -boss and part of the mystery, mystery machine, though. Now, let's see if I can keep throwing these. Okay, so I can lose... Bash plus, shrug it off, or metallicize plus. Uh, let's lose shrug it off. I like it, but this is a deck that uh, doesn't block. Kind of intentionally. Hey, shop. Okay, so we get another limit break if I want it. Self forming clay. Meh. You know, actually, runic dodecahedron would be kind of really good. With this this deck and this deck alone. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of... What do we get rid of? I think I'm going to get rid of Sword Boomerang. Or Cleave. Or Flex. No, let's get rid of Cleave. I'd like to get rid of some of the strikes, too. I should have gotten rid of one of the strikes. I could get another... I'm not getting rid of Writhe. We need it. It gives us a base one strength. We don't really want a second armaments. Combust is no good. Waffle's no good. Uh. Waffle. No. Waffle's useless. I'm toying with Limit Break, but I think we actually just want to leave this. Carnage, no, even Carnage is pointless. Plus, who knows, we might run into another shop up here. Or... I mean, whatever. But yeah, so now I get 5 energy per turn, because I'm full health. Which is really helpful. Burning Pact, Writhe into Reaper, except for I don't think you can actually reap those. Okay, so we have a semi-expensive flex. Pair of bludgeons. Well, let's do Limit Break. Headbutt. Uh, weakest Link. Take that one back. Let's see. I could use Reaper now. Or I could strike him, bludgeon him. Let's see, I'm not going to take any damage, so we'll just bludgeon this guy. And then we'll just wait. 
because I'm going to just have so much energy per turn. We... We could have... Uh, it would have been nice to actually get one more energy generation thing just for the sake of stupid. I like it when I get things for the sake of stupid. So they're going to hit me for one. Alternatively, I could just kill him. Nope, not going to kill him. Tried, ran out of energy. Sometimes I forget that I have extra energy. Oh, right, it's Centennial Puzzles. The reason why I get these three extra, the three extra energy here and there. Okay. So, first and foremost, dual wield into bludgeon. Okay, we're gonna kill him with a regular strike. We're gonna kill him. Bash this guy. Bludgeon him. I guess I could have done armaments plus, but whatever. Hemokinesis. No, none of these are any good. I really wish I had Singing Bull on this run, actually. Okay. I'm trying to decide here. Mid bosses are shopping. Okay, none of these are particularly good. Let's keep upgrading the bludgeons. Because no matter what, the bludgeons are good. Okay, so what do you guys think? An extra mid-boss or uh, go shopping? Oh, see me wreck a mid-boss. Okay. Let's see. Seems pretty, pretty mid-boss centric. That's eh, fine. We're probably not going to find anything interesting. I mean, I could have just uh, bypassed. I could have just bypassed uh, the potential for quite a number of things. Okay. Well, let's start with Armaments Plus. It's free. It's real good. Now, how do we do this? Burning Pact. Pretty much always Burning Pact is worth it, because it gets me at least something. Flex into the free limit break, so strength goes up. Was it worth it? Eh. Okay, I've got three left. I'm going to take some damage. Well, I could just bludgeon this guy. And clothesline this one. I'll take it. Oh, right. I had the T set. That's why I had so much energy going into this one. Should have dual wielded limit break. Can't do that, unfortunately. It only works for powers and, uh, it only works for powers and and attacks. They changed it so it didn't work for skills anymore. Okay, so I got a Reaper, but I should probably defend first. I have no other way of increasing my strength here, but this is worth. Okay, back up to full health. Let's see, do I have any free... Yes, I have a free strike, so I can kill him. Okay, and I have another defend, so I can kill him. And then we'll take one damage. Yeah! It's almost... Looking at this build from the outside, I'd probably be actually really uncomfortable with it. Like, I, I think I would look at myself and be like... I don't like this. But now that I'm here, uh, and I realize just how ridiculous it is, uh, I'd... I'd I'm, just, I'm down for this. And the problem is we're never going to get another run like this. Uh, I should probably... Ooh, defend first. He's gonna hit me for 12. Two, but we heal it right back up, so it doesn't matter. Okay, so Juggernaut, not really that helpful. Whirlwind is bad. Second Armaments might not be a bad idea. 
Yeah, let's roll the second armaments. No, Whirlwind is kind of terrible for this build. It seems like it would be good. I have a lot of extra energy, but it doesn't get affected by the Sneko Skull, so really I'm just kind of wasting it uh, for for the next one. I know I have tons of energy, but I'm I'm saving it so I can pull off weird raffle combos um, as opposed to other things. So most of this is all bad. Upgrading Clothesline or Flex. Go flex, uh, just in case I can pair it with limit break. The final boss is going to be more, more damaging. All right, and who are we up against? Oh, Stonesley, eh? I've got news for you, Stonesley. Free bludgeon. Okay, so I've still got a shit ton of energy, so we should probably pair this out a little bit. Hey, that actually makes Infernal Blade free. Awesome. Alright, strike. Defend. I don't need to. Um, we lose the pummel. 73 damage, 77 damage, 81 damage. And we keep the writhe because whatever. Alright, I've already... I have... I've just demolished him. Okay, it's Burning Pact, the three-cost strike. Nobody cares about it. Armaments plus, because it's cheap. I'm full health, so I don't need to worry about anything. And honestly, I should probably just hit him with a bludgeon and move on. I could defend for 10% bonus on the bludgeon. Nah, it's not worth it. But yeah, this... uh. This deck makes all of my other decks just look feeble in comparison. Which is nuts. Alright, I'm gonna pop Barricade. I don't know if we need it. Uh, but it'd be nice. Headbutt, let's get Dual Wield. Limit Break, even though it's expensive. Bash. And Sword Boomerang. Not that much damage, but that's okay. And that gets me some extra cards. Thank you. How much time do we have left? I don't know how much time we have left. I don't... I also don't care. Alright, let's start by flexing it up. Limit break. Dual wield that free bludgeon. Cheap strike. Cheap strike. Defend. And bludgeon combo. <laughs> All it took was one. I didn't even have to. And there's a threaded needle. Which means even more free block. Uh, body slam would be fun, but useless. Alright. Let's hope we get a shop in here. Nope, we get this guy. Alright, whatever. Uh, let's see. Well, barricade. Useful. Do we dual wield bludgeon? The more bludgeons we can, uh, we can cram in here the better. I'll still have one shot. So we want to headbutt, I don't know, you. Gets me dual wield back. Do I do Reaper? I don't even know if I want to do Reaper. Well, I should have probably used Limit Break. Ah, whatever, this fight's not going to last long enough for Limit Break to be justified. Okay, and then they're not actually... They're gonna do, what, one damage to me total? <laughs> oh, man. I don't think I've ever seen this guy start with uh, four, uh, two fireballs, but he starts with one sometimes. Okay, well... Dual wield bludgeon. I don't know why. I don't think I've seen bludgeon cost three. Like, ever. And we heal back up to full. Yeah, we just kill them before they can do damage to me. Okay. Anger? No. Second dual wield. And let's get rid of the potion of weakness. 
for another potion of weakness. Whoops. Shop? Maybe shop? Shop would be nice. Lose all gold, gain a, gain a relic. Um, well, I'm not going to run into a shop at this point. I get another red mask. What? I feel like there should be an upgraded version of the red mask that you can run into. That was altogether not worth it. And I altogether don't care. Uh, let's see. Infernal Blade. What's that give me? Pummel. Eh. Dual wield. Pommel. Let's hit him with the free strike. Armaments plus. Headbutt to bring back dual wield. Bash. Pommel plus, pommel plus, pommel plus. Uh, defend. <laughs> It's not as good as, um... It's not as good as bludgeon spam, but, I mean... Christ, if is it an effect... Uh, about as effective. I guess I could have dual wielded... Whatever. I'll double my strength to two. This poor snake. I feel... Do not feel bad for the snake. For it is the betrayer, or something. I don't know, bludgeon. <laughs> oh, this deck. This deck just needs to chill. Oh, hi. Alright, uh... Blah, blah, blah. This isn't so pretty. We got a lot of boosted things, so there's not... Mm, I might actually just take a hit here. Let's start with the bash. On the one in the front. Then we get the defend, which actually should not have done. And then the free strike. Then we think about the rest of this. Once we're done thinking about this, we're going to use Burning Pact on Rive. Get out of there, it's worth it pretty much no matter what. Unilaterally worked out right there. Okay, do I bother with Limit Break? No, I don't bother with Limit Break. Limit Break is dumb for dumb people. Uh, do I bother with Reaper? Nah, I'm not gonna take any damage. I'm gonna take one damage here. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, man. And taking that one damage just lets me, uh... Let's, let's me get more. I'm not really sure where those, those are all coming from. Uh, headbutt. Head, yeah, head, head, head. Uh, let's see. Do I have a dual wield? No, I don't have a dual wield in the deck. It's just poof. All right, let's grab armaments. Oh, wait, what? Oh, wait, no, no. I understand now. And then I guess we just wait. He's not going to be able to hurt me. Velvet Choker would kill this run. I don't think so. Well, it could. It would hold me down. How often have I taken more than one damage this turn? Or right, this run? I think once. I think once. Let's just clothesline him. Most expensive one. It is very rare for me to take more than one damage. Flame Barrier. Actually, it might be kind of hel helpful. Regen Potion. Uh, it's probably more useful than the, the Weakness Potion. Alright. Yeah, Reaper was a complete freaking waste. Let's get another Dual Wield Plus. For extra chances at horror. Hello, Dono and Decca. I got a question for you. How do you like dying? Can you, can you stop with those like weird buff effect things? So I can just drink my... Oh, right, I have Sozu. Why have I cared about potions this entire time, Ben? Clothesline. Armaments? Do I bother? No. It's only gonna upgrade the shit I'm not gonna use. Alright, so this is gonna be a little bit more expensive. Let's see. Yeah. Screw Decca. And he's going to do one damage to me. We do get a daze. Daze kind of sucks. Hello. Look at this sweet setup. Alright, so we flex. We double my strength. We... 
Dual wield is pretty expensive, but whatever. Bludgeon's free. So we don't have a bash. Bash would have been nice. Well, let's headbutt uh, to get dual wield back. Let's use Infernal Blade just in case we get something cool. We don't. But I can just kill Dekka and move on to Donu. <laughs> uh, my only regret about this run is that um, my only regret about this run is that it's not going to last long enough for me to build up any kind of strength where I can just one shot anything yeah he actually hit me for 12 that's not okay that's not okay at all I don't like this guy. Oh, this is kind of expensive. Well, bludgeon. I don't know. Close line? Sure. You're losing the small amount of energy. Kind of sucks, but whatever. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's keep flexing and doubling my strength. Pop a burning pact, lose the writhe. This guy's actually going to hit me a couple of times here, which is unfortunate. But I, this is not a defensive build, and my deck's a bit on the, the chubby-licious side. They made it chubbier, too, which I'm not exactly happy about. Defend. Searing blow. Lodgen. Remember you said something at the beginning, like, I have a feeling this is going to turn into some horrible meme run. Uh... Yeah. Yeah, I did. And, well, what do you know? It happened. I really feel like I, I deserve a higher score than that. A bludgeon for the first win of the night. But boy, was it a win. I mean, honestly, the other runs were pretty good, except for, except for uh, the Rasputin run. Bludgeon spam was just glorious. Wow. Well, I said I was going to play Starbound tonight. I don't think I'm going to make it to there. But boy, boy was that satisfying. All right. Oh, I guess I'll see you guys in the next episode of Slay the Spire and Session, which is probably going to be sooner than later because I need to start stocking up on footage so that I can go on vacation and not have to worry about running out.